U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted a congratulatory message for the U.S. women's national team who just won the World Cup in Lyon one hour after they had lifted that World Cup. Maybe that was a little bit of a surprise considering the spat that had been going on the week beforehand between the President of the United States and the star player of the U.S. team, Megan Rapino, who ended up with the Golden Boot, top goal scorer of the tournament, and the top player of the tournament award as well. She had, before the tournament, said that she wouldn't want to visit the White House saying so in colorful language. The president responded by saying, well, she should won win the World Cup first, and then the whole team would be invited. A formal invitation, though, has not yet been sent out, and we'll have to wait and see whether this team of women, in fact, would accept such an invitation. This is a particularly outspoken team of players, outspoken when it comes to politics, but also when it comes to equal pay. In fact, that, in fact there were chants of equal pay going round the stadium in Lyon after the final. Fans demanding exactly what some of those players are also demanding right now, to be paid the same amount as their male counterparts, who are earning significantly more but are less successful on the pitch. First things first, though, for this team of women, first of all, celebrations, of course, in France, and then back here in the United States, a ticker tape parade, a big parade in Manhattan that will be organized by the mayor of New York, Bill de Blasio, by the way, a Democratic candidate for the presidency. Then we move on to potentially a visit to the White House. Now, that will keep us pretty busy here in Washington, asking the president whether indeed he wants to have that group of politically outspoken players in the White House and maybe even provoke some kind of a confrontation. All of that is very much possible.